Hey, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna work on the model number on this bad boy will be G928. Hope you guys can see that number over there. G928. T that represents T-Mobile. Okay, so you see guys, it's all messed up. The LCD is broken right here. So we're gonna start by removing uh, the back of the phone. We need to open this phone from the back. So we're gonna use uh, the heat gun. We're gonna apply some heat on the back and we're gonna get it loose with some uh, flat pieces of paper or a business card, whatever you have in hand. And I'm gonna also use my razor blade. Okay, I'm gonna apply some heat. Make sure don't burn your hands. If you have some gloves, it's better to wear gloves. I don't want you to get hurt. Always keep it safe. all right we apply some heat i'm gonna go like in the middle i'm gonna slide my razor blade and lift that glass a little bit i'm gonna slide it in hold it and at this point i'm gonna slide like a business card type in here and just go like this it's gonna be a little tough when you feel the phone is getting cold, just apply more heat. The key here is to keep it warm. To get that adhesive soft. You guys see? When you give the right heat, this will slice like butter. And we're gonna work the same way all the way around. Okay. This is how it's gonna look. If you guys can see. Okay, we're gonna put this on the side and now we have a bunch of screws then we have to remove all these screws okay it's gonna take a little bit of time i'm gonna fast forward After this, remove the SIM card. Now this silver frame is gonna come out. When I use our razor blade, just gonna lift it from the top to the bottom, like this. It's gonna open like this. Very easy. Gonna put this on on the side. And we have everything exposed right here. I advise you always to do a quick test on the LCD you are going to install before you go through a headache of installation and it's not working. I'm gonna proceed to unplug the battery, ear speaker, proximity sensor, we have small cables right here, antenna, Gosh. 
after this we just uh, lift the motherboard be very careful from the bottom is the um, charging port I'm gonna help myself with this and lift it from the bottom there you go it's just gonna get loose and it's gonna come right off with both of the cameras back camera and front camera okay at this point we're gonna remove the battery very gently lift the battery battery is a little bit bent because this phone was badly damaged just gonna pull it like this even the battery looks it looks a little curved it's just gone to try to make it straight again and just put it on the side from here the only things we're gonna remove is uh, we're gonna need these two cables it's two of them like this and also we are going to need the vibrator now we need uh, these cables which is the sensor one of them is uh, like a little microphone the other one seems to be um, proximity sensor okay put that on the side and I'm gonna apply a little bit of heat on this one make sure it comes out flat and nice this is the ear stick so make sure to apply make sure to apply a good amount of heat so you make it come out easily there we go and it will come out perfectly fine like this okay there we have it guys um let me just check really quick okay we have a few more components i'm gonna put it I'm gonna put them side to side make sure like we have um, this one right here already comes in the new one this one two three we have like three antenna type um, little connections right here so we're gonna leave it like that so that's the old one and here's the new one make sure to buy it with the frame it's just gonna cost you a few more bucks and it's gonna save you a lot of time so we have it like this and we're gonna start by putting these uh, little connections first one we put the ear speaker next we're gonna apply uh, we're gonna put this little cable back which is look like the sensor and this when you have a microphone on top like this it's for like feedback or most of the time used for like uh, loud when you use the uh, FaceTime chat or video chat something like that put the vibrator back before you lay down the motherboard make sure to connect uh, the charging port this is very important don't forget that because another way you're gonna have a lot of problems phone is not gonna be able to charge and it's not gonna be a good time for you or the phone or the repair whatever you want to do so at this moment just make sure this just come out because it doesn't have enough glue but just make sure everything is plugged in in place and now we're gonna put this little cable antennas which they're very important don't forget to do this 
Okay, I'm gonna start from from the bottom. Okay, just follow the path. It's a road. This little cable knows its own road. So there we go. And I just help myself with one of this uh, Phillips screwdriver to hook it into place. All right, we go with the next one. That's said we start from the bottom. Follow the same first cable path, and we're gonna get it through the little uh, hole between the motherboard and the frame. And connected this. Make sure that all the components are set in place. Nothing is out of order. Everything is uh, sit tight. Nothing is uh, over or above uh, the frame. And we're gonna just um, glue this battery back. And we're gonna get a little bit of adhesive. Here, uh, clear double side tape, one stripe on one of the sides because the other side still have the, all that adhesive. So, there we go, just uh, see the battery in place, and there you go. The phone is back into one piece. Here, we're gonna go and check, always check the frame. Like I see, this frame is a little bent. On this place right here I just put it face down and I press it a little bit just um, to make it have a better a better shape you know to close it down start from the bottom and close it on the top what I do with both fingers I just apply a little pressure and you see it closes by itself Okay, now that it's closed, we're gonna go ahead and put all the screws back. Okay, after we finish, we see we have still have some remaining of the old adhesive, but it's not it's not gonna be as strong as the as the factory one. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit of uh, B9000 all the way around. Uh, I know it's gonna, not gonna be a uh, waterproof or nothing like that, but just to make it sealed and work the same as before. So. Here we have the phone. I'm gonna just turn it on and test it for you one more time. There we go. Here's the old screen. I always like to put uh, these clamps to make it seal properly. And as you guys can see, I can go to the emergency and everything is working fine just like before i'm gonna put these clamps on each side uh, what i try to do with the clamps i try to um, um put them where the metal frame is especially on this uh galaxy's edge put it where the frame is so the LCD is not gonna hold all that pressure. Make, make sure to do that if you don't wanna break your a brand new LCD uh, just minutes after repairing it. Okay, after a few minutes, just we're gonna take this off. And there you go, guys. The phone is done. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.